new Mitsubishi ASX, which stands for Active Sports Crossover. And do note the label on the other side, which does mention ClearTech, and that's not an option, that's standard on all these Mitsubishis. And that includes a start and stop system and also regenerative braking as well. So obviously that uh, does improve MPG figures. Mitsubishi themselves did take the car on an economy run and did achieve 90 miles per gallon. I think the rear is more successful than the front of it, although beyond the bumper line I think they could do something to really clear up this mass of reflectors and uh, the fog lights in the middle there. Mitsubishi have now adopted this jet fighter grille and that will be a feature on all noses on its cars. Although on a crossover vehicle that is marketed for families I'm not sure if that's such a good thing because it does look quite aggressive and also the lights look as if it's frowning, so kind of frowning and uh, mouth agape and your rear view mirror as you see it approaching. Mitsubishi have tried hard with this car to really identify its green credentials and there are a few facts that are very important. For example, this is the lowest, this car has got the lowest drag coefficient in its class. There are clues on the roof, for example, you can see these uh, ridges here from the wind tunnel tests. The boot depth here is compromised slightly by this storage area here, but this can quite easily be lifted out. And also the clue is there's no spare wheel on this model, although we have the pump. We've also got an emergency tyre puncture repair kit. Okay, so that, should be, that should be interesting on a dark night. Right, how easy, it is, how easy is it to fold down the, the seats? Well, let's give it a go. So first off with the parcel shelf. And, oh, that looks quite easy and uh, very light as well. I'm going to put that there. And then let's put these back seats forward. And all right, okay, push it down. And push the one down. Very simple. Now the squabs don't go forward, so the height is, uh, well, it's nothing to write home about, really. I mean, how many feet is that? Maybe three feet? There are two engines on the ASX, this is a 1.8 diesel. This is the world's first diesel engine to have variable valve timing. That means that the amount of air intake is altered to ensure maximum efficiency. I mean it is detectable now that it is a diesel but obviously with the, the bonnet closed and with the insulation here, that does reduce it quite a lot, as I'll show you. Demonstrate that low compression. The engine is idling now and it's just over 600 rpm. Now, most engines yeah, will be at least from 800 rpm, so you can see how refined it is.